the topic for today's discussion is Komsky hierarchy of grammars as we have already discussed what a grammar is let's have a brief look on grammar grammar is basically defined by four tuple that is VTPS where V stands for set of variables T stands for set of terminals P stands for set of production rules and S stands for the starting variable we have different kinds of grammars there need to be some classification among them so norms Com norm Komsky gave their hierarchy norms Komsky classified grammars into four types type 0 type 1 type 2 type 3 the classification gave a relationship between these four type of grammars now let's consider the hierarchy if I have type 0 grammar here this is defined by a set here then I have type 1 grammar defined by another set type 2 grammar defined by another set type 3 grammar defined by another set in the in this particular uh, set of scenario we can see that type 3 is enclosed within type 2 type 2 is enclosed within type 1 type 1 is enclosed within type 2 type 0 now each and every grammar is identified uh, based on their production rules if certain criteria is met by a type uh, a by a grammar then it is known as type 0 grammar if another set of criteria is met by the production rule then it is type 1 likewise we have for type 2 and type 3 type moving from type 0 to type 3 we have more restrictions on the production rule that is Type 1 production rules are more restrictive as compared to type 0 production rules. Type 2 production rules are more restrictive as compared to type 1 production rule. Type 3 production rules are more restrictive as compared to type 2 production rules. That is, uh, in this scenario we see that type 3 is the most restricted form of grammar. Based on each and every kind of grammar we have their languages that is the set of strings generated by the grammar and also we have automata associated with that form of grammar now see that I, if I have uh, we have a type 0 grammar that grammar is also known as unrestricted form of grammar the language generated by this grammar is known as recursively enumerable language and the machine associated with them is Turing machine type 1 grammar is context sensitive grammar uh, the language generated is context sensitive language and the automata associated with them is linear bound automata type 2 grammar is context free grammar language generated by this grammar is context free language and the machine associated with them is push down automata last we have the type 3 grammar also known as regular grammar the language accepted, uh, generated by these set of grammars is regular language and the machine associated with them is finite automata that is DFA and FA now let us briefly analyze each and every type of grammar study each and every type of grammar type 0 grammar uh, the rules of these grammar is if I have a production rule of the form alpha implies beta then alpha is an element of V union T whole plus that means the positive closure of set of variables and terminals the beta here is clean closure of set of variables and terminals that means on the left hand side I cannot have a epsilon but I can have epsilon on a right hand side so consider an example of a type 0 grammar if the LHS does not contain an epsilon then this is a type 0 grammar this is unrestricted form of grammar that have least restriction on the set of production rules all the rules satisfies the type 0 grammar the type 0 uh, set of production rules hence this grammar is type 0 grammar likewise I have for type 1 grammar the restriction here imposed is the length of LHS should be less than equal to the length of RHS that is length of alpha should be less than equal to length of beta now since length of LHS is less than length of RHS these are also known as non-contracting grammars now let's consider an example of this grammar I have this the length of each and every production is or, or the length of LHS of each and every production is 
less than that of the RHS. Therefore, this is type 1 grammar. Now consider some examples. That is, think over whether these set of grammars are type 0 or type 1. 